I recently stumbled upon a conversation concerning SCHD on the Dividend subreddit while browsing the internet. Some consumers complained that the ETF had recently performed poorly and that they had been duped. Let's discuss why I still think SCHD is a worthwhile investment. Let's start by discussing what SCHD is and isn't. The Dow Jones U.S. Dividend 100 Index is followed by the ETF CHD. It mostly consists of blue-chip dividend-paying businesses with a track record of at least 10 years of dividend payments. To maintain correct weighting and selection based on key financial parameters, such as market cap and trading volume, the index is rebalanced annually and quarterly. Dividend yield free cash flow to total debt. Return on equity and five-year dividend growth rate are some of the key criteria used to choose SCHD. In order to encourage diversification, SCHD makes sure that no sector or company makes up more than 25% of the index, or that no company makes up more than 4% of the index. Since it has been in business for 12 years, SCHD has given its stockholders dependable quarterly dividends that have been bigger over time. Since its start, its capital has increased significantly, rising by around 200%. SCHD enjoyed high esteem in 2022, but in 2023, it underperformed the market as a whole, registering a negative return of 2.73% versus the market's positive return of 17.98%. This can be attributable to the dominance of a small number of significant IT firms, which SCHD is not familiar with. Additionally, its performance has been hampered by rising interest rates. Overall, SCHD continues to be a good option for investors looking to retain diversification while getting exposure to high-quality dividend-paying firms. Nowadays, CDs provide higher interest rates, drawing the attention of wealthy people. Why would you put your money at danger in the stock market when you can have a bank that will guarantee a return of 5% with no risk, especially in a situation where interest rates are rising? Because there are other investment opportunities with bigger yields and far lower risk, dividend stocks might not perform as well. The greatest moment to purchase SSCHD, however, is when the fund is underperforming and close to its 52-week lows. When the Fed eventually lowers interest rates, all of that cash and savings and CDs will most likely flow back into dividend stocks. It has occurred before and will happen again since this is just basic economics. After the 2008-2009 recession, wealthy people bought at bargain prices. They were aware that these fantastic businesses would eventually produce a profit and distribute some of it to shareholders in the form of a dividend. Just take a look at the profitable businesses within SCHD such as Pepsi, UPS, and Home Depot. Even if the share price hasn't done well recently, it won't have a big effect on how these businesses operate on a daily basis. SCHD is a long-term investment. It is not a quick way to get rich. It isn't intended to regularly outperform the market, and like any investment, it won't always yield profit. However, real long-term investors are aware that it represents a portfolio of 100 fantastic companies, and that over the long term, five years or more, equities often increase in value. The trick is that wealthy people always look forward and purchase assets at a bargain. They don't often examine their portfolio to see if SCHD increased or decreased. During a slump, buying SCHD shares on a weekly basis can be a wise move. So continue selling if you choose. I want to purchase further shares at a reduced price. People will eventually experience severe FOMO, fear of missing out, as SCHD recovers. Keep in mind that successful investment requires patience and a long-term outlook. Short-term volatility don't affect investors with a long view. Continue investing, amass cash, and concentrate on your portfolio long-term growth.